set to take place right here on Championship Court. A spot in Championship one, Sunday zero, on the zero, line zero, for two. these two teams. We'll introduce you to them right after this serve from Joe Braverman. He's putting the finishing touch on that last forehand and gives you a chance to get to know his teammate Braverman there. Two APP gold medals this year. Five total medals from right here in Southern One, California. Zero, two. She's partnered up with Eric on scenes. Who you see top right of your screen. Point. on scenes gets a little love off the net court I do believe he played his collegiate tennis at Florida Gulf Coast originally from Sao Paulo Brazil can do a little bit more of his story as we continue on here right now he and Braverman with a little two nothing lead two, zero, two. this first game of semifinals side out she almost reset that and wasn't even looking at it but what I'm seeing early on, on scene still has not hit a third shot drop. Zero, two, uh, you, one. It is, it is all third shot drop to fifth shot drop for him. He, you will very rarely see on scene's hit Second serve. a third shot drop. Because he uses that third shot drive so effectively to get that easier ball on the fifth to be able to drop in. Zero, the two, two. There you saw Will Howells. He has the serve now. He and his partner, Bobby Oshiro. Playing in the, their third APP Tour tournament together this year, but training partners yeah. at home so they know Side each out. other's game and incredibly well. Right now, though, Braverman and on scenes with the advantage. Well, nice, on here again. nice job by Braverman right there, keeping that ball tight to the net. Two zero one. Zero reach in far enough to take that ball out of the air. Yeah. Yeah. Point. On the other side of the net, Braverman and Onsines playing together for the first time today. But Dorian, you would not know it based on the way their chemistry has developed so quickly. Three zero one. Point. I think you know part of the uh, the way that. The, the partnership works so well is Time that receivers is, four, zero, is one, very one minute. consistent. She's going to move that ball around. She's not going to take too many chances with speed ups where on Sins is a lot more aggressive. He's going to take those chances and you know, he, he knows that Braveman's also going to help get him out of trouble if he hits a few wrong balls. And it's a 4 nothing lead here to start this first game. So about as ideal as it gets for Jill Braverman and Eric on scenes. Dom, what has impressed you about the way they've started this first game? Consistency, right? They're not doing anything crazy. They're staying consistent. They're doing what's got them here. And that's on scenes playing really fast with a lot of pace. Braverman being that steady right-sided lady. And so like we talked about, it's their first time ever playing together, Braverman and on scenes. But Dorian, you got a chance to catch up with Eric before the match. Seconds. Receivers, what do you have to say about the way this partnership's two timeouts. Well, AJ, Eric said that Jill reached out via Instagram two weeks before New York. This is the first time they've played together, but he said, I love playing with You're Jill because here. of her energy. It is the energy time that in. fuels my day. Four, she zero, gets one. loud. I want to do better. And you can see already the two of them feeding off of each other and feeding off of the energy Point. of the crowd. Braverman known for the way that she brings energy onto the court. Five, zero, one. Love it or hate it, she stays consistent with it. And certainly working for her and on scenes, just like Dorian pointed out Point. there, as they have a six nothing lead here in game number one of our first semifinals. What I do like six, is the zero, aggressive one. counters from Howells and Oshiro. They've gone long on the last two, but I like the aggressive counters. That's what's got to happen against those drives. He's got off-footed right there. He wanted to take that ball out of the air and flick it. He didn't. Had to retreat. Six, zero, he just got off-footed enough. He pushes that ball out of bounds. 
Braverman goes for the Side lob, out. but it sails cross court and out of bounds. So it will be Oshiro and Howells with a chance to put themselves on the board here in this first game. Well, it was right size, wrong shape. She didn't go long. She just went wide. Zero, six, one. Second serve. It was sweet spot just in front of the baseline. Yeah, good spot right there. And Onsin says an excellent job of taking that ball out in front. Allows him to get that ball Zero, up. Six, two. Oh, drop that inside the baseline. Point. What I like, though, about that last point, it was Braverman who got out of the pattern. She didn't get into that cross-court pattern with Oshiro. She got out of it, went behind Howells, allowed Onsin to take over. You. You. Side out. <laughs> Onsen's got himself out of trouble right there. <laughs> Reached in, floated a ball, and he's like, oh, I better be ready for this <laughs> counterattack right now. 6-1-1. It's a 6-1 lead here. Braverman with the first serve. Second serve. Ball just wide. A little too much cut there from Monsen. There is one, a little two. bit of a, a wind floating around out in, in championship court. Wow. Great right, ball there. Side Will out. Howell's forehand down the middle. Finds the I, inside of the baseline. I was wowing the one-handed backhand from Monsen's a la Roger Federer. One, six, he one. came in and well, ripped that one-hander. Yeah, and, and Monsen's did have the one-handed backhand in tennis. There's the change of pace. Oh! oh gets a paddle. Just out. Oh, just Second out serve. of bounds. Yep. But again, Braverman changing the pattern. She goes behind Howells. One, Howells six, goes two. to the middle. On scenes gets the put away. Point. Shiro with the heater. Off the paddle of Braverman and out of bounds. It's a 2-6 score now here in this first game. Oshiro and Howells trailing by four. 2-6-2. Two, two. Will Howells calls for the challenge. Take another look here. Two, six, one. Or he six, didn't two, even one. go, I challenge. He goes, I challenge two, right one. away. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> as soon as the out yeah. came out of Jill's Referee man. timeout. We have a challenge of the out call. The out call puts us at 6-2-1. We will now proceed with video review. So that is our lead referee, Norman Velgeth. And video referee, Joanna Corker, coming into play here at 6-2 in game number one. Braverman and Onsins, though, have started this game with a lot of pressure, a lot of poise, Dom. What have you liked about the way they've started? Well, I've liked that Braverman gets into it with Oshiro cross court. She goes two or three, and then she changes it up. The problem right now is Bobby Oshiro. Not saying she's a problem, sure, sure. but the problem is that she needs to <laughs> fix something right now. And what does she need to fix? She needs to get out of the pattern before Braverman does. So what I'd like to do is just flip a ball softly to the left foot of Eric Onsins. Get him to play a ball off the bounce, off his back foot, on the backhand side, and then it'll allow Will Howells to step in in the middle and get involved. Right I, now, I, she's I not. I will give one issue with that, mm -hmm. and that is, is if on Sins recognizes the change of direction that he is going to own it. Right. It has to be a ball it that's like tight, to be like that's that's tight to the line, the video tight to the line, tighter than that. Yeah, exactly. So after review, that ball 
O'Shea and Lahal retain their challenge. Inside Three challenges the line. left. Inside the line, left. barely even catches Three, the inside six, two. baseline. Over, so over, Will Howell is trying to get the crowd no, pumped Bobby up served. after he won the challenge there. 15 seconds. They do get a point but there. One thing that we haven't seen Time from O'Shea that we six, saw two. in the quarterfinal is she's not changing direction on the speed up. She's not testing that elevated ball on, on Sins like she was against Foster. Side out. Yep. So they're allowing on Sins and, and Braveman in reality to, to Six, dictate three, one. the pace of play. That's a nice counter there Second from Will Howells. If Braveman went for the first one, clips the tape, he punches it back and is trying Six, to double three, up two. with the drive. Howells all over it. On Sins with the second serve. Whoa. And that third Side out. shot drive sailing out of bounds. There is a little bit of wind here on championship court. Not sure if that's entirely to blame for that. Three, six, one. It is becoming a little bit of a factor later in the day. Out! Just out, Will. Second serve. Braveman's already started the mind games. So you you heard Three, Brandon six, Lane two. in between this last match and this one. He said that both Will Howells oh. and Jill Braverman oh, like to oh, add oh, a little oh. bit of spice. Point. And what he means is a little bit of chatter coming man, back and man, forth. Brandon Howells just Howells is uh, just jumping back there too. So it's four uh, six it's two. The, the gates are open now. It's happening early. It's the semifinals match. Spot on Championship Sunday on the line and Braverman and Howells going to. Utilize every tool in their tool belt to try and get into each other's heads. Oh, that's a nice move and a paddle clap right to Braverman there from Will Howells. He was very close to catching the net right there as well on this. Five, that's six, good two. Move. Good move. Great spot there. Side out. With the forehand down the middle. A good spot right there, right at the body of Will Howells. He tries to jump out of the way. He does successfully get out of the way of the ball, but it's tough to do anything with it. 6 5 1. 6 5 1, the score for Braverman serve. Second serve. Alan Sins has to take that one down the line. Tries to be. A little bit trickier there with that reach in fleck and, and take it cross court. Six, five, two. Howells. On scenes with the serve. Yeah. Oh, Point. Shiro's on that next one, but on scenes goes third, fifth, and seventh shot drive. He was not going to back <laughs> off Seven, five, two. until something happened there. Point. Another good. Third shot drive there from on Sins. That return sitting up nicely for Eight, him five, to be able two. to get a little bit more shape on that one. Gets it below the waist of Oshiro. Point. And another one. Timeout receivers, nine, and five, two, one minute. called on the court by Oshiro and Howells as Braverman and on Sins have a nine, five lead here in game number one. So it gives them a chance to go back to their corners and get some coaching, which for Eric on Sins means he's getting some feedback in his ear. From his dad, Jaime Alcides, was a 1992 Olympian for the Brazilian tennis team, played in multiple U.S. Opens, and when I was talking with him earlier, he said that it's really been a process to develop that father-son versus athlete-coach relationship between him and Eric, and it took a moment when they were both playing tennis, especially when Eric was still playing tennis, where Jaime looked at him and he said, look, when you're on the court, I'm your coach, but as soon as we get in the car, I'm your dad again. We leave your tennis on the court, and as soon as we step off hey, of it, it's back to father-son. And as soon as that no conversation happened, he said outs. that relationship started getting a lot better, and now that's Fine. translated to pickleball to the Nine, point where Jaime five, and two. Eric really have that communication aspect of their coaching and father-son relationship down. Certainly, getting some advice from the Olympian is never a, a bad thing to have in your corner. That's great pressure there from both Oshiro and Howells out of the timeout, not letting any of those balls bounce and just keeping Braverman back. 5-9-1. Five, 5-9-1, nine, one. Five, nine, one. Howells with the serve. Yeah. 
<laughs> yes, that ball was in right there. That was not an out call from Jill Braveman. That was a partner communication Point. out. Don't hit Six, it. Nine, one. But it does fall inbound, so it's 6 9 Second, one. Third. third shot drive off the paddle of Howells and line drive into the net. We're just trying to catch Braveman Six, on the nine, two. Coil from the stack. Point. That time Howell is finding a good spot off the edge guard of Eric on scenes. And it's 7 9 now. At one point, it was 6 0. Braverman and seven, on nine, scenes, two. But Shiro and Howells really started to find a rhythm here in this second half of this first yeah. game. And there Point. it is. Key right there. Will Howells let Oshiro take that drive, even though it was her backhand, and he crashed. So she hits the third Eight, on nine, the drive. Two. He crashes with the fifth, puts it away. Chance to tie things up here for Oshiro and Howells. Instead, on Side scenes out. with a little hand off the edge guard. Yeah, a little, little help from the net cord right there for on scenes. But... The, the difference down the stretch here in, in game one is that Oshiro and Howes have become more aggressive. They're now putting Nine, pressure eight, on Braverman on sin, spe specifically Braverman. Second serve. Bobby and Will Howells holding the kitchen line, and Howells finishes it off with the Nine, forehand. Eight, two. Second serve, Braverman with it. Oh, Shiro that time using it down the middle forehand winner to get the ball back on their side. I like Oshiro with the little head nod after she got it. I like it. <laughs> Hey, Everybody nine, getting involved here in the chirping back and forth. From Oshiro and Howells as they tie things up at nine all. Timeout receivers. Well, great nine, counter nine, there from Howells. He will, and the he initiated. Braverman didn't get it clean back to him. He Rudy, the next one clean match, and then back to the middle. Oshiro able one, to finish that thousand. up and tie this first game up at nine apiece. And this, I mean, this speed up right here from Howells as well. He doesn't hide it, doesn't disguise it. You know that it's coming straight off of this dead zinc right here. But it, Braveman just gets a little too extended. That ball back behind her a little bit. So it, she wasn't able to get enough on that counter attack. And that's all the opening that Howes and Oshiro needed. Like we mentioned, Braverman and Onsins playing together for the first time today. Oshiro and Howells played together day in, day out. They've played in two ADP tournament stops together this year, taking home medals each of the times they've played together in mixed doubles before. And so, despite trailing, 6 nothing to start this nine, first nine, game, one. have to imagine that communication and that trust has yeah. really Point. played a role in getting them to game point. We talk about all the time how strong Bobby Oshiro is. That right there just proved it. That drive had so much Ten, dip nine, on it. One. power, ridiculous. Bobby Oshiro can complete the comeback. Point and game they do. Wow. Oshiro oh. and Howells wow. trailed two six minutes, take game. nothing okay. to start this first game. And now right take it. 11-9. Oshiro Verbal congratulating Justin her partner Howells. Rightfully so. Mixed double semifinals number one, game, game one. Locked up and goes the way of Oshiro and Howells. Well, game two when we come back.
It's hard to find supplements that work. No, thank you. You need supplements that are backed by science with natural and plant-based ingredients and that are third-party tested. Because cleaner is better. Like Aura Organic. Plant-based supplements made from the Earth's most powerful plants for your immune health, gut health, workouts, and more. Find out more at AuraOrganic.com. When I have pain from arthritis, I grab BioFreeze. Unlike Voltaren, BioFreeze provides fast-acting relief. I can apply it to more areas of my body, and it's NSAID-free. Cool the pain so I can get back on the court. Because we're getting a ton of pace from here. Down the seat. We're going to give it right back to you. Bill Shiro and Al started driving every third shot and forcing errors. Yes. And we know how much we have Time seen in game both two. Joe Braverman and Will zero, Howell zero, start two. to engage in the back and forth chirping in game number one. It's part of each of their games. We'll see how it plays out here in game two underway. So I was out. just going to say, too, Bobby Oshiro did a great job at the end of game one controlling the dinking right there, a little unforced error, but I think that's a key. Zero, zero, control one. that dink. That's a great call. Something to watch for here in this second game. Braverman tried a little inside yeah. out, trying to fool Howells on this first ball here. He was not yeah. fooled because, again, that smart pickleball got outside Braverman's right hip. He has one responsibility down the line. He covered it perfectly. Shiro goes for the lob, and Sonsin's having to adjust mid-swing, it looked like, to make sure he didn't absolutely... Nailed well, Jill Braverman with that ball. Zero, he wasn't, zero, he wasn't expecting Braverman to switch on that ball as well. He just wanted to take that and take it straight down the line. You. Yes, Bobby. Point. Braverman gets caught getting up. She played the first ball off her knee and then got up and then couldn't move to the middle. So it is a point here for one zero one. And game number two. Oshiro with the serve. Nope. Great nope. spot there. Howell's Point. saying not going to happen in that spot to Eric on scenes as it gets them a second point. Well, I think in this situation right here now, too, Two, is on Sins nope. and, and Braverman are feeding Howells and Oshiro what they want as far as the pace. They now need to move that ball around a little bit more, go behind Howells, open up that middle, and then they can insert some power back into it. Yes! Well, she's not like she was in the beginning yeah. and halfway through game one. Braverman was going behind Howells with yeah. a dink. She stopped. Three, zero, one. I think Braverman is kind of fed into the chirping of Howells right now as well. And it's when you get into that mindset, you're like, hey, I'm going to show you and I'm just going to, we're going to hit right. everything through. Second serve. So it's a duo that we've seen a few times before, but Dorian, it seems like this relationship between Will Howells and Bobby Oshiro on the court Three, really zero, evolving two. before our very eyes. Oh, Looks like we got a little technical Point. difficulty with Dorian's mic. We'll get back to that in just a second. Oshiro and Howells, though, continue to extend their lead here in game number two. Yeah, Howell's dotting the corner there. Four, zero, two. Yeah. 
Oh, he Side read out. that too. All over it. Yeah, he just got too big with it. And at times, that's that's an issue, right? You Zero, four, see one. it too early. You know that it's coming, and you try to do more with it and get big with it. So it's a side out here. Brave men and on scenes looking for their first second point third. here in this second game. But that dink left short off the paddle of Braverman. Zero second four two. On scenes with it. Yep. So good. Side out. Yeah, just both Braverman and on scenes just seem off balance right now. Come on, Joe. Whereas Oshiro and Howells are just in sync, in rhythm. Gives us a chance to check in with Dorian Crafts again, see if she can give us some insight here into this partnership. Four, zero, well, AJ, one. you mentioned at the end of game one the trust that Will Howes and Bobby Oshiro have in one another, and Will told me that that has only grown since they captured the gold medal in mixed doubles back in New York. The communication has always been a key tenet of their partnership, but it's not just communication, it's positive communication. When you listen to Will Howes and Bobby Oshiro play together, it's always that so Second good, third. good spot, good job. That constant positivity just feeds into their energy and bolsters their game. Four, zero, two. And we've already seen that play out here in this semifinals match. Great inside, yeah, Dorian is. Side out. Especially in a situation like this where Braverman and Howells are kind of going back and forth in the chirping, it does seem like Oshiro and Howells are saying, we're still together. We're still got this. Well, yeah, and Braverman, Zero, four, usually one. she's going to say something on that last shot, but down four. She's going to save oh. it right now and see if they can get Second a run third. here. But two points ago, Braverman did exactly what Chad and I are talking about. She went behind Howells. Yep. He dumped the dink in the net. An easier dink. But he's not seen that ball enough. So she needs to do that a little more. Had a ball come onto the court here, so Howells puts that one back into the Zero, VIP four, area. Two. Play back underway. Yeah, I was getting tired and tied into the net. On scenes with one of those grimacing smiles, like he knew he left it just a little bit short. Four zero one. So instead, it's a side out here. Oshiro with the serve and a chance to extend this four nothing lead for herself and Will Howells. Yeah, wrong spot Point. right there. So this about as opposite of a start to a game as Five, we can zero, have one. game one to game two because game one it was a six nothing lead for Braverman and on scenes and here it's Oshiro and Howells trying to make it exactly six nothing in their favor. Five the zero two. Game. Howells with the second serve. Dom how have they done it? I mean they're just consistent they're sticking to their game plan and Bobby Oshiro not only we talked about her trying to maybe go behind on scenes a little bit when they were getting in trouble but what has she done? She's adjusted where she's going Six, to break. Zero, she's going left foot, right foot. She's moving the dink around a little bit, not going to the same spot over and over again. Yeah. 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 Right there, she went right between the legs. Yeah. Yeah. Speed up there from Howells. Side and Bergman was ready for it. Howells can't get his paddle out of the way. Braverman finds backside on Howells. He pulls the trigger. Braverman's ready for it. Yep. But that's that's also the spot that Braverman's Zero, sitting six, right one. now. So you see he's sitting on that forehand. Right. Does flatten out a little bit. Potential that that ball was maybe going out. Great Point. spot there on scenes. Catches Howells on the move. And it's a point on the board for Braverman and on scenes. One, six, one. That's a good Second spot third. right there from Will House. Change of pace, little forehand dink to the left foot. One six two. Of Eric on sins. Yeah, tough spot Side there out. for Braverman. She stuck back at the baseline. Made she got a ball below the net right there on sins. Moved up. Braverman did it. Then puts him in that difficult positioning on the court. So it's six, a six one, one one lead here for Oshiro and Howells. 
chance to extend it here in this second game, which if they win, they punch their ticket to yet another championship Sunday. And good false shot there for Monsens. Reads the drive Six, nicely one, to Nowles. Good counter, gets that ball down. A little change there from on Sins and Braverman. They don't uncoil on the stack and they keep Braverman on the left. A little different look right one, there. Six, I don't mind one. it right now. The Ernie off the paddle point. on Sins perfectly placed for the point. That's the first one. They haven't given second. Them second. They haven't given second. them many opportunities right no. now. Two, six, one. I was gonna say it felt like those first six points that Howells and Oshiro scored happened relatively oh. quickly. But now second we've third. had a lot of scoreless side outs. We've had some hard fought points here for Braverman and on scenes. The pace of play seems like it's slowed down a little bit here. Yeah, that's a good read right there from Braverman. Two. I like the shake and bake action. Side out. There, Howell's just with a lot of pace. Timeout, server 621. Well, it's just, it's tough to, to leave a ball elevated to either Oshiro or Howells. They're going to make you pay for that ball that, that is anything kind of your chest high and above. And right here, you see Braveman actually, she stops the swing in that transition area. So when we stop there abruptly, it actually accelerates right before it stops and it just pushes that ball up. Once it's up, the pressure is going to come on and it's difficult to keep it down. So you have Oshiro and Howells kind of get a little stagnant here for a past few points. They earn a side out, not very clean earn of the side out, but they get it back on their side. And both Oshiro and Howells look at each other and go, let's call that offensive timeout. So they use the timeout on the offensive side here to kind of regroup, reset, Server. and One say, okay, we got the serve back. We're still in control up 4 6 2 in game two. Let's regroup, get this back, and get back in control of what got us here. They did take game one, 11 9, and have the four point lead here in game number two. Winner of this match earns their spot in Championship Sunday. Oshiro and Howells trying to make it back to back. Time AP in. Tour stops with a spot on Championship Six, two, Sunday. One. Brought home the gold in New York City just over a month ago and trying to keep that streak going. Oh, Will oh. Howells, get out point. of town, covering every aspect of that point. Only attempt, and then the ability to get back into the court, keep that pressure on. Seven, two, a little one. lock from the net court there at the end, gives the skip through to the feet of on sins. Second serve. Howells is trying to rush that Seven, draw. Two, two. Wow, nice Stay dig out. right there from Braverman. Very aggressive on the forehand cut. Oshiro two, seven, trying one. to take that out of the air and eliminate a big bounce to the sideline. You. Me. Great angle Second taken serve. there by Will Howells. If it hadn't hit on scene's paddle, Dom. I had it. I had it. It was right in the booth, right in my hand. That's twice I've had balls taken away from me. Two, seven, two. Dang it. Yikes. Oshiro oh. goes for the lob. Not Point. enough on it. On scene's gets up. Gets it back over the net and at the feet of house. Almost ends up jumping on top of his partner, Braverman, on Three, that one. Three, seven, two. 3-7-2 for on scene serve. Oh! That right. time Howell's, Howell's getting point. no love off the net cord. <laughs> for sure hit an out ball on that six shot. Because on sins ripped it <laughs> from mid court. And Howell's hit it up above his shoulders. 4 but seven, Good pressure two. there from on sins. You. 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 
Spot there, Braverman finding the perfect place to make it a 5 7 score here in this second game. Five seven two. Five seven two, the score for on scene serve. Oh, and point just wide there from Oshiro as well. So now Braverman putting a little pressure on with a good third shot drive. Six, seven two. And now back within one, flipping the script for on sins and bravement. Good point, patience throughout this for all four players. Then once it got started, someone was going to finish that. Bobby Oshiro Might gets, well be me. gets the overhead, puts that ball right at the wrist Seven, six, one. of Eric Hansen. So instead of tying things up, now it is Howells and Oshiro yes. with a chance to Seven, extend third. their lead, but Joe Braverman keeping the pressure on. A good reach in there from Braverman, catching Seven, Oshiro six, with the feet moving. Both feet were kind of off the ground right there when she tried to block that back into the kitchen. Nice job, oh, Bobby. Nice pull Point. the trigger there from Oshiro. A little two-handed backhand flick through the middle. Either Braverman or Onsen's. We're expecting that one. On. Even she liked the way that looked coming off Eight, of her paddle. Six, a little bit of a, ooh. That's side how that scenes gets big in the middle. Forehand winner down the center. And it's a side out. So trailing by two here are Braverman and on scenes. It's going to be. Braverman with the serve here in this second game. Six, eight, Southern one. California resident. Lived a few places, including here in the eight. L.A. area. Thank God Second Bobby Oshiro is already down there. <laughs> <laughs> because you had Will Howells coming in, stepping Six, in, eight, and two. taking that ball right on top of her head. Oh, Will Howells going up. up for the overhead winner right at the feet of Braverman. Quick shot out there for Howells and Oshiro. Braverman on, on Sins definitely needed to put a little more pressure on right there. But Oshiro and Howes need to find Eight, six, some intensity one. right now. They, they have kind of slowed down once they hit six. It's been a little stagnant. They were stuck on six for a while. Okay. Now they're going That's nine. it right there. Just had to talk about it. That's it. The opposite of a commentator. Nine six one. Well, I was, I was, I was, you know, he was I wasn't being super positive oh, about it. Boy. Back to back, Will Howells, Bobby Time Oshiro, out. two Receiver, quick six, six, points, one, one, and a timeout here. called on the court by Braverman and on scenes as Oshiro and Howells face a match point coming out of it. So that return of serve was hot. So it was a high return of serve from on scenes, right? So what Will Howells does, he lets that ball bounce and get to its apex, and he just literally gets on top of it. Doesn't even need to use too much topspin. Gets on top of it, rips that ball downward for the winner. Through the middle, will give him a match point. So Chad, you were talking about how the last few points have been a little bit slower, a little bit harder for Oshiro and Howells after they took a 6 nothing lead. Here right in this here second game, court. what do they need to do to finish it off and win the match? Well, I think right here, you know, you, the same thing that they've, they've done seconds. the last two points. Come out, big serve, Receiver, get that shorter return, serve. rip something, and, and get that pressure, that intensity, that faster pace of play going. Right, right now, you you have two match uh, match point opportunities. Like, go for this serve right now. Like, go big. I'd, I'd go for the serve, and I'd rip my third. Yeah, absolutely. Either Bobby or Will, I'm yeah. gonna rip this third. Put pressure on. Time in. 10 6 Let's 1. See what they do. First match point opportunity on point the paddle. Game, Bobby Oshiro and a big 6 inches inside the baseline. Jeez. 
<laughs> a so good. serve is the way to get it done for Oshiro oh, and Howells as they take our first semifinals match. 11-9, 11-6, and punch their ticket to Championship Shiro Sunday here at the Owl APP Newport Beach Open. We'll hear from them when we come back. We'll hear from them on Championship Court on our broadcast. People play pickleball for exercise, competition, or to hang out with friends. What your reason is doesn't matter to Gamma. What matters is that you play, that you enjoy playing with passion, and you have so much fun, you can't wait to play again. At Gamma, we offer paddles perfect for all levels, including yours, because pickleball is about you, the player, and what feels right. Pickleball is your game. Make Gamma your paddle. Play to live. Live to play. Gamma Pickleball. At the Botanist, we always look further, seeing potential where others may not. We sustainably hand forage 22 Isla Botanicals to make a beautifully balanced gin, capturing the essence of our Scottish island home, consciously crafted by our community to be enjoyed by yours. Look further. When my hearing changed, hearing life understood. I don't just want to keep hearing my friends. I want to keep being me. Book a complimentary hearing assessment with one of our hearing professionals and see how our personalized care can help you keep being you. Love your ears at Hearing Life. To be clear, Fulfill is a protein bar, not a candy bar. Don't let its creamy, chocolatey goodness confuse you, or the fact that you hide them from anyone with a sweet tooth. You saw nothing. I saw nothing. Fulfill. We swear it's a protein bar. The APP is sponsored by USA Pickleball, official sanctioning body of the APP Tour. And the Botanist Isla Dry Gin, distilled with 22 wild botanicals. Bobby Oshiro and Will Howells. A nail biter in game one, 11 9, but Chad 11 6, pretty handily yeah. in game two. Tell me how it's done. Well, they came out, they were aggressive, putting the pressure yeah. on. They, they let Raven Minute on Sense back into it a little bit, but at eight, we talked about it. They came back in, big third shot drive, big sub, able to close it out. And we'll see here with Oshiro with the big side to close it out. We'll throw it down to Dorian Croft, who's caught side for our Franklin post-match interview. Thanks, Chad. They're still talking about how this match turned out. Bobby Oshiro, Will House. Bobby, I'm going to start with you, and I'm going to take it back to game number one, because that's what the two of you were talking about just now. You guys got down six points. What was the biggest difference maker making a run to take that first game? Oh, uh, well, we took a timeout, kind of regrouped, talked about it a little bit. Um, need to slow it down a little bit more uh, just because, you know, they really good hand, both Jill and Eric. So we just need to change it up a little bit, adjust. And we did we did that, that and we took game one. Well, you've talked about the communication between you and Bobby, how central that is to your partnership. But listening to the two of you on court, it's always positive when you talk to one another. That's so good. Great job. Why is that such a central part of your relationship? Yeah, she's an awesome partner and uh, we can communicate freely, whether it be like strategy that we want to make adjustments to. You know, it's never taken negatively. And I think we have that communication because we're good friends and we, uh, we practice a lot back home and we're able to build chemistry that way. All right, guys, congratulations. Our first finalists moving on to Championship Sunday. We will find out who they will be playing. Don't go anywhere. Our second semifinalist coming up here at the OWL APP Newport Beach Open. Introducing Persona IQ, the Smart Knee. Address your knee pain with a replacement that contains sensors which capture helpful information such as your range of motion, stride length, walking speed, and step count to ensure your new knee is performing at its best. 
It keeps you connected to your healthcare team so you can receive important reminders and personalized recovery guidance. It's not a GPS. It doesn't collect where you've been or where you're going. Persona IQ, a smarter way to regain mobility. When I have pain from arthritis, I grab BioFreeze. Unlike Voltaren, BioFreeze provides fast-acting relief. I can apply it to more areas of my body, and it's NSAID-free. Cool the pain so I can get back on the court. The BioFreeze USA Pickleball National Championships. November 10th through the 17th in Mesa, Arizona. Designed for pickleball's best. Amateurs and pros alike. 14 tournaments. 14 opportunities. Find your golden ticket tournament. Earn your title. The APP is sponsored by Arnicare. Fragrance-free pain and bruise relief. Up your game without the pain. Ziri. Sadaf was a top tennis player in Iran, but her transition from tennis to pickleball, she has grown to love the social aspect of the sport and its ability to bring people together. She's been working for, with kids for the past seven years and hopes to have an impact on their lives, specifically through tennis and pickleball. Cheers to you, Sadaf, our Partake community hero. Well, don't go anywhere. We still have one semifinal left here on Championship Court at the Al APP Newport Beach Open. Introducing Persona IQ, the Smart Knee. Address your knee pain with a replacement that contains sensors which capture helpful information such as your range of motion, stride length, walking speed, and step count to ensure your new knee is performing at its best. It keeps you connected to your healthcare team so you can receive important reminders and personalized recovery guidance. It's not a GPS. It doesn't collect where you've been or where you're going. Persona IQ, a smarter way to regain mobility. When I have pain from arthritis, I grab BioFreeze. Unlike Voltaren, BioFreeze provides fast-acting relief. I can apply it to more areas of my body, and it's NSAID-free. Cool the pain so I can get back on the court. The BioFreeze USA Pickleball National Championships. November 10th through the 17th in Mesa, Arizona. Designed for pickleball's best. Amateurs and pros alike. 14 tournaments. 14 opportunities. Find your golden ticket tournament. Earn your title. The APP is sponsored by Arnicare. Fragrance-free pain and bruise relief. Up your game without the pain. Welcome back to beautiful Newport Beach, California. Sun, sand, and of course, plenty of pickleball action as we get set for our final semifinal in our mixed doubles competition to set championship Sunday. Great crowd filling in for this one. They've been great all day, all along the grounds.
down a little bit more. Don't stay in that cross court with Harris. Go behind Mick. Take some opportunities. You'll potentially uh, to to move that placement and, and set Fudge up. To get to this match, Megan Fudge and Jack Monroe had to go through Megan's husband, Ryler DeHart, in the quarterfinal. AJ McCord joins us now with more after talking to Ryler. Chance to catch up with Ryler after, right before this match that Megan and Jack are taking on in the semifinals. And he was giving me a little bit of insight here. He's turned the page and giving me the, the playbook, if you will, to how he thinks that Fudge and Monroe can beat Andre Mick and Allison Harris. He said that Andre has a great attack, and so their key has to be to try and neutralize him, make him play soft when they can. Allison, everybody knows about how strong that cross-court forehand is, so you have to guard against that. So he said that's the game plan for Megan and Jack. When I was talking with Megan before she took on Ryler, she said, look, it's never fun playing against your husband, but if they're looking for the silver lining, part of the reason they do not play together is because this way they have two horses in the race here in an APP tour stop and so at least this way one member of the household is going to be represented here in the semifinals and of course Megan Fudge excited that it's her. Thanks AJ that's called hedging your bets when you put your names in the draw. Yeah, I mean why not right? Zero, one, and we've one. seen them play together they had played well together when they last played but then decided to go against it. So Fudge and Monroe got on the board one, one, first. One. Serve back over to Harris and Mick. It's 1-1-1. One, one, one. Yeah. Mick sliding over. And that's exactly it right there. Harris is playing Monroe, going at that left foot, getting him Two, to push one, it one. over. It's not an aggressive dink coming back from Monroe. Gives Mick the ability to step over, speed something up, and put the pressure on. Fudge trying to cut that backhand cross court to get to Andre Mick, but quick little three point run here from Harrison Mick. That's a nice spot there from Fudge going behind Mick with the forehand. Mick yeah. crashing for no reason right there. Why well, it wasn't was really high. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't the best drive from Harris. It wasn't the best ball to to be driving from. Three one two. So, Tough, uh, tough one there for Harrison Mick. Oh, so much spin. There was the ball. spin that pushed that ball yep. out wide. Fudge cut that ball and kind of shaped it down the line. When it hit off of Harris's paddle, she had it straight one, three, just one. to bump it back down the line, and it kicked off the paddle. Second serve. I think that's the third. I think that's what you're gonna see too right now is a lot of steady diet of return to Jack Monroe. the winner but Dom do you like the game plan of feeding a steady diet of returns to Jack Monroe yes because Megan Fudge is going to drop everything for the most part or drive it she may drive a couple but they're going to be consistent she's really not going to miss Monroe may miss but it also keeps Monroe back and he's not going to be able to post two, three, if two. they return to him and keep him back go get up get up Go, go, go. Yep. Sorry. Uh, you hear the point. constant communication in the middle of that point. Yeah, a little uh, miscommunication there as not not talk wise but movement wise. Three, Mick three, two. started to move and then he said you 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 and we saw that Harris had already taken that step back once she saw him take that step to the middle the first time. Fudge and Monroe retake the lead. Middle of that point, Andre Mick had a ball that he could get on top of. 
Wrong decision going to Megan Fudge. We talk about her defense. Four, three, two. How good she is. You got to go to Monroe. Force him to play that. A good Four. idea for Mick, just not well executed as it sails Five, three, long off of the paddle. As he and Harris take a timeout as they find themselves trailing by two here early on in game number one of our second semifinal. And we told you this was a hot ticket here at Championship Court. It's not just the fans that are filing in, it's also the players. Look at all the players as they are lined down Championship Court. Will Howes, Rihanna Valdez, Bobby Oshiro, there's Susanna Barr. Everyone coming to watch this second semifinal. Yeah, I mean they're all there's well, and AJ. There's AJ. Hey, that's that's the uh, <laughs> that's that's the shaded area right now. Is, as the, <laughs> the sun oh, is, is on, yeah. moving its way short. over. <laughs> hey, but they I, all they, I would be right there too. But again, too, it is a close. It is a very close. It is a very close knit group with all the players. Yeah. And so they are out here, all to support one another. They compete as hard as they can on court, seconds. but off court, a lot of these players travel to together, play rec out. together, warm up together. So, and when you think about it, they're on the road pretty much half the year together too. So it is a very close knit ADP <laughs> more, family. More than, more than half, more, the, yeah, <laughs> half more, the year now, but right. You know, and going back to to this one here. Five three, you know Harris and Mick were up. They got up loose. Early. They got loose here. For Time in. Points. But that's five, exactly three, what Fudge and Monroe do. To you. They haven't put a whole lot of pressure on. They just make play consistent. They don't make a whole lot of errors. They make you work for your points. All point. over it gets some love off of the net court for another point. But, Chad, you were just talking, and you and I talked earlier this weekend. It's the fact that winners versus errors, 70% of points come Six, off of unforced two. errors as opposed to winners. Yeah, 100, 100%. You know, it's we talk about power all the time and, you know, somebody's ability to create chaos or point. anything else. Yes, that's good, but in reality, the consistency – the ability to make your or your opponents hit one more ball or, or second guess where they're going to go, that creates the errors because now your opponents are trying to do too much. As we saw right there with that ball going wide from Mick, yo, you, you're trying to go for the smallest targets or, or something that's not Seven, going three, to come two. back. Maybe not chaos, but a little consternation on the side of Andre and Mick as they find themselves trailing Point. by four, make it five as that return sails long. That was too big of a Eight, three, two. Yeah, that right was there, Dory. just a lot. You're saying I'm trying to do too much? <laughs> no, I'm just saying that I don't even think I can say that. Well, I can say the word, but nobody will really understand Point. what I'm saying if I was to say that. So ball back up the middle. Jack Monroe calls yeah. it long. Yeah. The, the ball You're is going to get a out. challenge here. It was close, but it was very close. Time out. I think I think it potentially looked long. Challenge right of the out call. Well, once again, we all know that I bat below the Mendoza two. line when it comes to so challenges. I thought it was in. Wow, you dropped the below the Mendoza line. That's <laughs> Dom, Dom, Dom and I are drinking a rainstorm right now to, to try to clear clear our minds a little bit. Dorian's thrown out all the big words. So here's a look at the APP video review rules once again new this season. Only line calls are reviewable and it must be a rally ending shot. You have unlimited successful challenges, three unsuccessful challenges in mixed doubles and you can no longer challenge your own call. It has to be either the opponent's call or the referee's call that you can review and so this one going to be looked at once again. The call on the court was out. It would make it 9-3 in favor of Jack Monroe and Megan Fudge. So a good challenge here by Andre Mick and Allison Harris. Yeah, again, we talk about it all the time. Mine as well right now. 9-3 is the result. Oh, that ball's, that ball's definitely out. 
I never <laughs> want to say definitely. <laughs> Cannot Dar- ever say definitely. Darren thought the ball was in, so yes. You, you, From you, our vantage point, <laughs> it was And that is why her average is below the Mendoza line. But I'm a perfect example of why players want to have these video review challenges. Oh, because from our end, it's really difficult the to tell. The ball was out. 100% plus the, the, the speed that the two ball is moving. Two time, challenges remaining. Three t- challenges remaining. We'll resume play at 9-3-2. Match lead, Carol Manifold all over it. The call stands. It was out. Our tracking ref, Norman Velguth, and our video replay ref is Mary Namey for this match. Time in. Time in with Monroe and Fudge leading 9-3-2. Nine, three, two. needs to step over there on that one. It was a good setup from Harris. Mick hesitated, and now Harris is having to try to recover and hit that on the backhand. 10-3-2. Brings up game point, 10-3-2. Nice side answer out. there from Andre Mick to earn the side out. Also what the issue is, too, is Allison Harris loves to finish through the middle. The issue right now is Jack Monroe's forehand. In the Three, ten, one. It's not a backhand from a guy there. It's a forehand she's hitting right into. Second serve. Harris just can't make the pick. When you're a player, Dom, and you have your favorite shot taken away from you, what's the adjustment? Three, ten, two. Well, again, she's got to adjust. To, I'd like to see if she's going to speed up, go to the back side. Great right there of Megan Fudge. But, again, you got to keep that down. And, again, that speed up's got to come from when she's up at the kitchen line. Well, and she can still take that same that same ball that she likes to through the middle. but. You know, you're flirting with the sideline a little bit more when you go with the right shoulder. That sails wide, Fudge and Monroe. Monroe and Fudge making quick work of Harris and Mick in game number one. They take it 11 to 3. Game two coming up here on Championship Court in our final semifinal here at the Al APP Newport Beach Open. The Pro XR Pickleball Paddle answers the age old question of how to get paddle speed and control with the same paddle and one grip, and this is it. Pro XR gives you more spin, greater control, and quicker reloads on every shot in the game because you always have that constant feel for that leverage and control and paddle speed that we're all looking for. Pro XR is the most revolutionary technology in pickleball. When I have pain from arthritis, I grab BioFreeze. Unlike Voltaren, BioFreeze provides fast-acting relief. I can apply it to more areas of my body.